Hello, welcome to Dataset. Today we will scrape IMDb's top 250 movies using Python and its libraries, Request and Beautiful Soup. Let's start installing our libraries. I'll write pip install requests on the terminal. I've already installed those, so I'm just showing it to you. pip install bs4. We are going to import Beautiful Soup from this bs4. And I will install LXML. We are going to uh, use LXML to get the Python, uh, get the HTML code ready to use in a soup object. So let's import those libraries, import requests from BS4, import beautiful soup, and import LXML. Now we are uh, ready to make our first uh, request to the website. Let's do this response is equal to requests dot get and we will uh, pass the URL here. I will go to Google and search for IMDB. Click this uh, top 250 movies link and this is our URL. Let's copy it and paste it in here. Now HTML text will be equal to response dot text. We will uh, we transform it to a text to uh, take it to uh, into a soup object. Now let's create soup object soup is equal to beautiful soup and HTML text goes in here and we will write an example here. Let's check the response we get from the website. I'll print soup that I'll use predify here to get a more readable HTML. When I run this, as you see, we got an error because uh, the website detected that we are using a Python script. I can show it to you like this. Print uh, response that request that headers. Uh, the headers are the uh, things you send to the website when you make a request and uh, they know who you are from those headers. Let's uh, run this and see what they see. As you see here is, uh, is Python, so it's obvious that we are using a Python script and the website knows this. So we need to change this. I, to change it, I will go to Google again I, and search for my user agent. And here it is. We will copy is this and uh, create our headers here. Headers is equal to a dictionary. I will just use uh, change the user agent here. User agent is equal to this. Now uh, we are going to take the headers and uh, put it here. Headers is equal to headers, and uh, hopefully th this time the website uh, think that we are uh, reaching them uh, from a normal web browser, because uh, this is the user agent we normally sent to the websites when we normally uh, go to the, our browser and uh, make requests from there. Okay, let's run this again and see what happens. Now, as you see, uh, the user agent has changed. So uh, we did successfully. Now uh, let's comment, uh, open this and comment this out. And finally, I will run this to see the HTML code of the page. Okay, we got a really long uh, HTML and uh, it is the normal HTML code of, of the website. So uh, we did it successfully. We, uh, we made our uh, first request. So uh, let's go to the website and start scraping. The data that we're gonna take from one movie item are uh, its ranking, its name, uh, the year, the duration, and the points. Let's uh, go to the code again and uh, create a dictionary with those values, with those keys. Movie dictionary is equal to ranking. And the values will be uh, empty lists. Uh, shortly after, uh, we will create a loop and for every loop, we will uh, append the data into those empty lists. And finally, uh, we will take this uh, movies dic movie dictionary into a pandas data frame, then convert it to an Excel file. 
let's write those see value pairs duration and three points okay let's uh, inspect our website I will right click and click inspect now uh, if I close this you, as you see here are the movie items and we can see all of them uh, without having to scroll to the end of the uh, page this is a very good thing because uh, this means that uh, the website is not running on JavaScript so uh, we don't have to use a web automation system like Selenium for this project uh, we will uh, see uh, videos of Selenium in this channel but uh, for this small project uh, we don't need Selenium let's take a deeper look at this HTML uh, we need to find something common for those uh, movie items and I think CLI parent class name uh, can be used for this uh, now I'm going to create a list here I can create those movie list vehicle to soup that find all we are going to take a list out of this and the tag name will be li and the class name will be cli parent we need to uh, get 250 items from this selector uh, because if there are more uh, that means there are some uh, other items using those uh, CLI parent class name and we cannot use this uh, for, as a selector for our movie items let's print the length of this see if we uh, are using the right thing length of the movie list we need to see 250 here and okay we got it so uh, I can delete this and start our for loop for movie in movie list now uh, we're gonna append to those empty lists starting with the ranking movie dictionaries ranking dot append now uh, I'll go to the website again to check this uh, ranking so I will click this and uh, click on inspect and as you see the ranking is combined with the movie name but that's not a problem we can use this uh, dot to uh, use as a separator uh, we need to go to this h3 in the cli parent uh, we are going to start with the movie here and movie dot fine the tag name is h3 and we will take the class name in a moment class name will be uh, IPC title text it's obvious that this is for uh, this text this title item okay I will copy it and paste it here now uh, we got uh, we got to this uh, h3 now we need to take the text of it we got the text here but the text is uh, one dot the Shavshan to redemption so uh, I will split this uh, string text I will use the split method of string here split with the uh, dot and uh, this will uh, return a list of two items and we will uh, we need to first item of it to get to the ranking now uh, we got the ranking and the name uh, will be the same because it's in the same tag we'll just change this to name and uh, this will be one to get the second item uh, from this but uh, there are there is a blank the white space uh, in in front of the name so to delete this I will also apply the method of strip here okay this will uh, give us the full uh, full movie name okay let's continue now uh, we are going to get the year of the movie movie dictionary here the depend now let's see how can we do this I will uh, select this and click on inspect to open it now uh, the year of the movie and the duration are in the same uh, are siblings 
are in the same uh, the, under the same div class. So uh, and the uh, class name of those are the same. We can use this uh, class name uh, to get a, a list of these three, and we are going to choose uh, the first and the second items to get the year and the duration of the movie. Okay, let's go to the code again, and I will uh, write movie that. This time we will get a list, so I'm going to write find all. The tag name is, is span and the class name will be, I will uh, copy it from here. Okay, this is the class name. Uh, now, uh, when we do this, we got those three items, and to get the, uh, the year of the movie, I will come here and write zero, and we will get the text from it, so I will add that text. Uh, we will also do the same thing for the duration of the movie. Duration will be equal to, this time, uh, uh, it is the second item, so we uh, are going to write one here. And we got its text. Now, finally, uh, we are going to uh, find the point of the movie. I will select the points and click on inspect. Now, uh, as you see, the points, uh, the points 9.3 is here, so uh, we can use this pen tag and its text uh, to reach it. But if I open this, there is also another text uh, which uh, shows the number of votes, I think, and uh, it is also in the same pen tag. So uh, we need to separate those. Let's go to the code and uh, Find this span with this uh, rating group IMDb rating class name. Movie dot find and it is a span tag. I will uh, copy and paste the uh, class name here. It is I'm rating group IMDb rating. Plus name will be this, and uh, as I said, uh, when we write this, and when we write that text, we get all the text in this uh, span tag. So uh, I will just uh, choose this first uh, three characters of this test text. So to do this, I will write zero to three here. Now uh, our for loop is uh, finished so uh, we if we did it right uh, we got the movie dictionary with all those uh, information and now uh, we are going to take those uh, take this movie dictionary into a pandas data plane to do this uh, I will uh, go to the terminal and pip install pandas I've already installed those so uh, I will also uh, install the open by Excel library to uh, convert to, to an Excel file. Let's import this. Import pandas as pd. We are referring to pandas as pd. And uh, import open by Excel. Okay. Now come here and create the data frame. df is equal to pd.data frame. And uh, we will uh, pass the movie dictionary here. And uh, we will convert this PDF to an Excel file with the name of top250.xlsx. Uh, you can uh, write here any path you want if you want to uh, save this Excel file to another location in your computer. But I want it here, so I'm just uh, I'm just writing the name of it. Okay, let's run this and see if we got the Excel file or not.
Okay, we got no errors. And the Excel file is here. Let's open this. And as you see, uh, we got all the items correctly, the ranking, name, year, duration, and the points of the movie. And if I go to the end of it, uh, there are 250 of them. So that's all for this video. Thank you for listening. See you in other videos of Pepscraping.